Hi, I'm Steve Palladino from Palladino Power Project, bringing you another video on the uh, calculators that are available for uh, Palladino Power Project in Final Surge. Um, this video will be bringing you a discussion on the calculator used for estimating CP, FTP uh, for races that are less than or equal to 40 minutes. Um, once again, to access this calculator, you have to be on your final surge calendar in beta mode. So in beta mode, so you have this, this appearance here, your calendar in uh, final surge. And you go to the icons on the far right, you select the calculators icon. It'll pop, have a pop-up window with various calculators. You want to select the Palladino uh, tab, which gives, brings you to the Palladino Power Project calculators. Um, I've discussed these in other videos, these, uh, the, these earlier ones, but uh, now that I want to discuss using the calculator for uh, calculating your STP, S, uh, CP, slash FTP from races or time trials less than or equal to 40 minutes. Um, <clears throat> this, this works for both races uh, as well as uh, time trials or tests that are less than um, 40 minutes. Um, I'm going to give you a couple examples, a couple working examples. One was a 5K race that the athlete did during the training plan. Uh, another one is a 20-minute test, which, uh, which is called for in a number of, of uh, my training plans as well, particularly the, the ones that are um, uh, optimizing auto CP. So uh, this calculator uses a, a population uh, reference for uh, reserve work capacity to calculate back to what CP FTP is. And uh, therefore, it's going to out, output um, estimates um, for uh, male wind pod user, male non-wind pod user, female wind pod user, and female non-wind pod user. Because the, the population range for reserve work capacity is different in each one of those groups. So... Um, uh, that's a little of the background. I'm not going to go into it any more detail than that, but uh, realize that you do have a calculator that allows you to estimate CP or FTP from, from uh, races that are less than or equal to 40 minutes. Now, just as an aside, historically, people have, have put their 5K data into a Rigel-based model. That's this, this one up here for for uh, races that are greater than or equal to 40 minutes. The Rigel model does not work as you go uh, lower than 40 minutes because of the variable size of reserve work capacity. So um, Rigel model, not so good for shorter races. I discourage that. Um, <clears throat> but instead, um, you use this, this is a, a, a modified monad model uh, that uses population reserve work capacity um, ranges. So uh, this one for races and time trials less than or equal to 40 minutes. All right, so uh, example. So this is a, um, a 5K race in which the runner ran 1911. 289 watts. Really, the, the, the distance of the race doesn't matter. It's really the duration of the power. We're talking about power duration here. So enter your race time and race average power. Um, and then scroll back down to that calculator, and there are the estimated results when you click on that, that particular button. So if this was a male wind pod user, then the, the estimated FTPCP range is about 279 to 282, somewhere in there. 
So if the you know the athlete wanted to, they could just round it and and, and use two hundred eighty and and have a pretty serviceable CP FTP uh, estimate. Uh, if this is a female wind pod user, um, the the estimated FTP CP would be a little bit higher, uh, two eighty one to two eighty three, and so on. So you have to be specific to your gender and specific to uh, what pod type you're using. Also realize, I mean, just as an aside, that, that any of these calculators that are producing an estimate of FTP CP, whether it's from the CP test or from a long race or from the short race, those estimates are also uh, relative to the conditions in which they are run. So, you know, uh, the, the, this if this was run in, um, you know, 18 degree uh, weather with 70% humidity, that that estimate that estimate range uh, is uh, applicable within a, a, a band around that particular set of environmental conditions. So. Keep in mind that that um, you know you wouldn't you wouldn't uh, run this race. Let's say the race again was running 18 degrees um, Celsius and 70 percent humidity, and you get this estimate uh, if it's a male wind pod user of 279 to 282. You wouldn't take that and apply it in uh, 25. Uh, Celsius and 85% humidity. It, it's not, it, it doesn't work. It, you, it power is relative to the conditions in which the test was done or the race was done. So um, once again, uh, there is uh, the calculator. Um, now let, get, let me give you one more example here. Um, this was an actual 20 minute test from an athlete doing one of the training plans. And they, uh, I manually, they, they ran as a 20 minute test, but I manually selected uh, 20 minutes and five seconds because it was good power for 20 minutes and five seconds. And the average for that was 190 um, watts. And so I click estimate results, so scroll back down to that calculator. Um, I believe this is a female. Um, wind pod user, so that produced a estimate of 183 to 184 as a CP FTP um, for that particular athlete in uh, approximately those conditions in which that time trial was performed. So there you have it, um, and uh, another work workout or, or another calculator used for estimating S, uh, CP. FTP, this time from time trials and races less than or equal to 40 minutes. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, I'll put some, uh, some links down in the notes um, for further uh, information, and um, uh, we'll catch you next time. Thank you again. Bye-bye.